Hi, I'm Lydia Greer. I'm an adjunct assistant professor in the Department of Art Practice and Art History at St. Mary's College of California. In the spring of 2021, I was teaching a studio art course. I was teaching two sections of studio art, one of which was hybrid at um, St. Mary's. And so I had to design both sections really differently. It was really challenging because studio art is very hands-on. I can um, look in a student's eyes and observe uh, whether they're you know, connecting with the material or not. Um, and I can just walk over and have a, a brief conversation with them. So in this course, what we did was we actually had a workshop model. So we had most of our courses on, uh, online so we could build community, but then we had these special focused workshops on drawing, mixed media, painting, sculpture. We would actually um, meet online for the first hour with the whole group so everybody could connect. And then um, we'd pause students would trickle out of their dorms and come over to the art courtyard. Thanks to my department and administrators, we actually developed a system using rolling tables. So we had rolling tables that were hand-built um, and we had them in the um, the lab, in the art studios, and the students, we had a whole protocol that I that I trained them in. Um, and so they would go into, this, into the studio, I'd unlock it, They'd wipe down the tables, wearing their masks, keeping six feet apart um, and sanitize everything and then wheel it out into the courtyard. So we had an outdoor classroom. And I think there's a lot to be learned from this structure uh, because we, we were actually able to go really deep and focus in on specific activities. When we were together, we really used our time in a focused way. Three things that I focused on when creating um, the hybrid course were um, first off community. We are, everybody's in their homes or in their dorm rooms. They're isolated and that was extremely important because um, you cannot learn if you're in a heightened state. We wanted to build um, rituals and spaces that were um, comfortable for people to, to come to each week. Um, so we had, um, we had check-ins in the chat. Everybody knew exactly what was gonna happen each class. I would let them know the structure. I would um, lay out the agenda very clearly. And also purpose was extremely important. So I would talk about the purpose of that class. And then I talk about where, you, where they've been and where they're heading and where we are now. So I'd really kind of lay that out. I was able to implement some new tools besides Moodle into the class that I, I feel were really, really powerful. Um, and one of those was Mighty Network. So Mighty Network is a non-commercial closed social network um, for uh, that you can have your students join. And um, it's really, it's a really beautiful interface, um, has a great design, it's really user-friendly. Students can make really comprehensive posts with um, video links, um, text, uh, images, and they can comment on each other's um, reactions. They can actually chat with each other. I think it was a really successful uh, space for students to kind of spend time on um, outside of the classroom and outside of Zoom and um, check on each other and, and go a little bit deeper. So I I'm definitely going to use Mighty Network um, going forward. Uh, Zoom fatigue is a real thing and I really wanted to be extremely conscientious of that. Um, and so you know, most of the class w were on video. I was able to do that, but I set the expectation that if you are, if something's going on, you just you just let me know. We're gonna, you know, and there's always gonna be um, something going on because we're in a global pandemic and we're, you know, in college. So this is, you know, this is the situation. I also told them that it was their right to get an education. And, and so I was gonna have high expectations with them. And those, those expectations were gonna be different for every single person because um, we're all in different situations. So there was a lot of, I really tried to bring in differentiated instruction and having um, demonstrations of understanding um, be so sometimes how you show that you're learning or you're engaging with the material or that you're having an experience um, rather than, you know, um, a polished product. Although I will say we had some beautiful drawings and paintings, um, mixed media pieces and sculptures um, come from this class. So community, clarity and focus were really the ways that I sort of redesigned the course. And then when we did meet in person, we were, we had a focus. We had something we were specifically working on. One day we actually went for a hike and everybody was drawing um, plants and we actually did this piece using positive and negative space. And um, that was like a really lovely way to get to know each other. But what I really wanna take with me into um, this fall semester and you know, um, anything that we might be encountering moving forward 
and how we might want to in incorporate some of these modalities into our teaching in the future is that there were multiple ways for uh, students of from all backgrounds, from all walks of life to enter into this classroom community. So using um, the, the discussion forum on Moodle or um, the chat, the chat was fantastic. I would love to keep the chat moving forward. Uh, Mighty Network um, and um, really some of those, those um, spaces where I can connect with you in person, but I can also connect with you online and in other ways. So um, uh, if we really wanna work with our students um, and you know, think about differentiated instruction, I feel like these multiple modalities are gonna be really, really powerful.